episode six of the Da Vinci Code, and in the building I got uh, this nigga that literally got in my DMs to be on this show and expected to be paid for a show he asked to be on. So I bought this nigga on hand anyway, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself, bro. Hey, shit. man, it's your boy Hype, you know, aka Black Freckle, aka Benjamin Bags. Nobody call you that. I made that one. That Nobody calls you that. Uh, but for real, I do need my money. Uh, You're not getting paid for the show. I am. Uh, I appreciate you having me on, baby. Nah, <laughs> what we got, man? What you got? What you got? Okay. And I, uh, <laughs> I bought you on the show today because I felt like you was the only nigga, unfortunately, that could answer this question. So I'm going to set it up real quick. I'm honored already. Okay. You should be. Um, as a man, we go through all type of trials and tribulations to get the coupe, the box, the vagina, whatever you want to call it. My question to you is, <laughs> have you ever taught yourself out of some pussy? And if you have, like, how did that change your approach on women, towards women? Oh, man. I shouldn't ask this thing about women. <laughs> That's a loaded question for me. Because to me, I always find out that, like, I'm less successful with sex. Okay. What, elaborate? The more respectful that I am. What do you mean by Like, I don't mean respectful. I'm more so traditional, all right? Mm -hmm. So let's say I do dinner in a movie, okay? Okay, that's standard. Right. And under any circumstance, this could be someone that I've been talking to for 10 years, 10 minutes, okay. 10 days. Okay. If I'm paying for dinner in a movie, I, I would prefer for it to end in sex. Whoa, right? whoa, why? That sounds like entitlement. I, it's not entitlement, it's what I want to do. That's entitlement. <laughs> that's entitlement. No, Some that's people see that as entitlement. Entitlement is like you owe me sex. That's basically what you just said. No, I would like for it to end in sex. That's it. We're gonna replay that and I wanna hear I wanna see this shit because this nigga just I don't mince my words. Said. I guarantee you that's <laughs> what I said. Okay. That's pretty much okay. that's in the area of entitlement though. No, it's not entitlement. I would I would like to have a million dollars. I don't think I'm entitled to it. I would just like nah, to Nah, nigga, I'm entitled to a million dollars. I've been struggling. Fuck that, nigga. Give me my money. Fuck but that. my point is saying, when I do things in a traditional way, mm. I feel like more often than not, it doesn't lead to sex. So I almost feel like that taking that route, period, is talking myself out of sex. She might have. She might have wanted just dinner and a movie. She probably didn't want them deep. Right. I don't want to like she didn't want to do. That's completely fine. I don't want to be the guy mm. that gives you dinner and a movie when we're not gonna have sex. But let's say I say, hey, little shouty. Do you smoke loud packs? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody talks like that. And Nobody. then she say, yeah. I say, all right, then let's blow some loud. Then she come to the crib, we mm -hmm. blow some loud, and bam. Coitus. Yes. You fucking. Right. Off rip, you fucking. Yeah, right. Okay. But let's say that I don't. Okay. I didn't go anywhere. I didn't do anything. It's been like I can that. accept that. That's your weed. Yeah, but I'll smoke with anyone. You know, That's even true. the likes of you. I'm the same way. So... I feel like if I ain't do shit and we don't have sex, eh, it is what it is. I still would like for the night to end in sex. But if I like go out and I do something, I pay and I go through hoops and shit and it doesn't lead to sex, then that's when I start thinking like, all right, I'm doing this shit all wrong. So yeah. to me, being traditional is a is a is a immediate, not an immediate way, but a traditional way to talk prostitute. yourself out of sex. Honestly, you just use that same money you're gonna take for that dinner moving by a prostitute from Moncrief. That's what I would uh, typically do if I had millions of dollars, you know? Because they don't make Backpage no more. They, it's not called Backpage no more. It's called Backpage Friends now. Oh. No, that's how I know that. I just had to do okay. some. That's all, all right. worship. Got it. That's all um, but, but if I was rich, that's how I would have most of my sexual intercourse. It would be by paying. I'm about to say, I'm about to say you're not taking them out, dude. No, just, no. It would be like, literally paying for like ordering, like Robert Kraft, my personal hero. Along with OJ Simpson and Whoa, Mary whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this ain't that type of show. I'm sorry, the Black was, History Month was last well, month. I, I, my apologies. But uh but yeah, I feel like going through the bullshit without knowing where you're going is the number one way to talk yourself. That is that's it, that is usually like a setup, but what I meant was like an instance where you, you was feeling a girl and you know y'all finally was you know, y'all finally got to know each other better and you just fucked it up by talking. Because you do that a lot. I know what you mean. You fuck up a lot of stuff by talking. Right. That never happens to me. It never happens. It happened to me when I was, like, young. But yeah. now, like, you know what I'm saying? If I, if, yeah, 100% close rate. Yeah, because unfortunately, we old niggas now. You met us when we was jits, like, yeah, just discovering true. the world and shit. And now it's like, I'm on that same type of way. The stuff that you talk about on your snaps, 
slash podcast slash whatever the hell the Black Freckles thing is. YouTube, baby. You know, I invented YouTube and shit. You changed my outlook on how I handle women, <laughs> bro. That's so horrible. <laughs> that's so goddamn bad. Because it's like, it's like, nah, nigga be like, man, fuck it. Like, if she come through, cool. She don't, shit. That's how you have to be, man. It is what it is. It's how you have to be, man. But me, myself, I think, I don't want to say I taught myself out of pussy. I'm going to say she taught herself out of dick. Oh, that happens to me. Okay. Yeah. This happens a lot because this side of, this side went down. We was I was having this conversation with this one lady, young lady, and she was fine as shit. I will show you the picture after the show. Mm-hmm. And um, a conversation came up about who our favorite artist was, and hers was Nicki Minaj. I'm like, okay, I see where this is going. This ain't going nowhere. And uh, <laughs> she, she was like, well, who's yours? I'm like, um, Future. I like. It. But then somehow we got to the topic of a uh, like her liking every Nicki Minaj song. I, I was I was fine with it because I don't give a fuck. And then she was like, well, no, I don't like one certain song. She's like, do you like everything Future Make? I'm like, hell yeah, I like everything Future Make. She's like, impossible. That's impossible. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> She's like, no, no, you can't like every song that nigga make. Like, no, but I have a friend who was a friend of Future. I mean, not a friend, but a fan of Future. He don't even like all his music. I'm like, bitch, I don't care about what that nigga like. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, I literally <laughs> said, bitch, I don't care about what that nigga like. Like, what you mean? I mean, well, fuck. Like, I, if I like every song by the nigga, I like every song by the nigga. She like, well, that's just fucking stupid because he makes trash songs sometimes. I'm like, hold on, no, no, it's, now you crossing the line, okay? He don't make trash songs all the time. The nigga had several number one albums. So she crossed the line. Yeah. Oh man, that's a uh, that's interesting. She threw me out, bro. I'm like, how you ask me? Who my favorite artist is, and do I like all his music? Then get mad when I don't answer it how you wanted me to. Yeah, but that's women. That is women. because that was that woman too. Yeah, and she was a Jag fan, so that wasn't gonna work out. A Jags fan? Yeah. No, not just a fan fan, but she like knew the niggas, like knew the roster and shit. Not like she was fucking them, but she actually had insight. I like, like that input. Yeah, I like. I did like that until she started talking. Yeah, that's More. usually when things go wrong. Yeah. Know? So that, that instance was just like, nah, I didn't bounce back from that. But then she did hit me up on Memorial Day, tell me happy Memorial Day. And I was like, She's okay, like, one, I'm not a veteran. I have never fought in any war. And who the hell says happy Memorial Day? To Nick says not in the war. I know this is off topic, but can I tell you about something? I said this the other day. What? And this is something I've learned in 2019, okay? Three months in? Bro? Three months in. Okay. I'm now, sorry. mind you, it took me my whole life to learn this. Okay. It's particularly women, but I'm not going to jump off that cliff on your show because I'm going to respect your. Here on Random Max Apart, I mean, <laughs> the Da Vinci Code, we semi respect women, and that's fine. I respect women fully. I just have an opinion, an accurate opinion, that, that be can be misconstrued as disrespect or hatred for women. Well, but as a I'm guy, I'm probably going to understand where you're coming from, but I'm going <laughs> to let you elaborate. All right, I'm not going to elaborate on this. I'm going to tell you what I learned. Okay. I learned, you know how most people are idiots? Like, be like, be real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, being a person that is aware and understands things and thinks for yourself, yeah. you understand that most people are idiots, right? Twitter. Yeah, good. The social media is a great example of yes, good, yes, uh, like yes, how yes, most yes. people are idiots. Yes. So, um, I've learned, because of course I realize most people are idiots, but I'm also starting to learn that a lot of people are just crazy. And I thought it was their stupidity, but it's really their crazy. And I've been noticing this a lot in 2019. <laughs> it's like a good example. Just now notice that? No, it's because, like I said, I confuse stupidity with crazy. Hmm. Like I met somebody, right, and they was telling me a story about how somebody they live with, they wanted to live, I mean, somebody they work with wanted to move in with them because they were going through all this shit. You okay. know what I'm saying? And, she, and then she was telling me, like, I don't want this person to move in with me. And then the next time I talked to her was probably a month later, and she was like, well, yeah, me and my roommate, right? <laughs> And she was telling me about the roommate, and then she was telling me like how she never wanted her to live with her, right? But I always, well, no, I always say, I always been saying it in 2019, is that no matter what you think, even if you think it yourself, mm. your actions are really what you want. So sure. even in your heart, if you believe I really don't want to live with this person, but your actions are saying I want to live with this person, to me, that's what you really want. Hmm. And I start to realize that people are crazy, and that's why people say crazy shit. That's why women, particularly, say crazy shit, because they think they want what they're saying, but their actions show that they don't. Hey, bro, women, I said it before, women change what they want every three years. Whew, three years, that's a long time for them. Oh, I don't, they change it up. I can see that, though. First, women wanted niggas with beards, then women wanted niggas with goals, then niggas women. Back in high school, women wanted niggas with dreads, but I think some women still do, but now it's just... 
I don't know what the fuck they want to want. I personally don't care because I've been fucking not ever caring what a woman wants. I used to, but it was many moons ago. Yeah, yeah. Like caring what they want? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, you're a scumbag, so that's... I'm that's definitely a not a scumbag. You're absolutely a scumbag. I'm not, man. Well, what did you say? What, what was the conversation you was having before we walked in? So on that note, we're going to end the show. You got anything you want to plug, bro? Oh, man, I really don't have nothing I want to plug. You know? literally just said you on man, YouTube. I have a YouTube channel, but I don't really consider it my YouTube channel. You know, those were sample videos, you know? So I'm going to start hitting them with some heat soon, but I ain't going to plug it yet. It ain't ready yet, man. I'll come back on episode, like, 27 or something. I don't think I'm going to go that long. I'm going to go to episode 420. Uh, I said... <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Alright, if you guys want to send any listener questions or any topics for your boys, just hit me up at mail at RAO Podcast. That's mail at RAO Podcast. And we done with this. We out. We out, man. Because, you know, we got a, a popular character. He's uh, he's going through some shit right now, and uh, we just want to be there for our boy. Ain't that right, Russ? What are you talking about? I can't do No, bro. <laughs> Oh, you already pulled up. Man. The question what I brought you on here today is asking why is it so hard to be black in America? Not a black man, not a black woman, but black. Based based it off your personal experiences. I mean, well, you like me. My you personal had too many bad ones. But nigga like me? <laughs> but I'm saying, even being light skinned, you you feel it from inside the race. It's like colorism too. And you know, you remember that saying that uh, old timers used to have, like that. Um, that you always got to be better than them at everything you oh, do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that shit. Nigga, I'm, nigga, I'm going to do the same amount of work, get the same amount of paycheck, and I'm still going to be chilling. I can't even have this conversation with you.